Today's iron comparison features two of the most underrated irons in 2022 and two of the most popular irons in 2022. You're going to want to stick around for the results of this one. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, outside on a windy day on the driving range. And we got a fun one today because, you know, through hundreds and hundreds of fittings at Second Swing and through talking with our fitters a bunch, we've identified really two irons that are very underrated this year, we think are among the most underrated, and then two of the most popular that we've done hundreds of fittings for, right? So. Thomas, walk me through, let's start with the underrated irons. Walk me through those ones that we chose today. Yeah, so also got to include in here what our viewers have been telling us too in the exactly. comments. Some people were talking about what they consider as underrated and it's really hard to even consider them underrated now because yeah. they're slowly catching up and more and more people can fit into them. But I got to say it, Strixon ZX irons, yep. specifically the five and the seven. Mm -hmm. um, great irons and you know, six Strixon ZX seven, a little more player like iron. Yep. Got a couple of degrees less loft on it than more traditional would have for a cavity back, but boy, is it a spin killer. Mm -hmm, for yeah. sure. And then that ZX5 is a little more player resistance, but I think we like that VT sole on both of those irons. Really clean turf interaction, especially for those golfers that come in pretty steep on the ball. Uh, and then those really popular irons, Thomas, uh, they've been, they're, they're really explosive and been big winners in the fitting bay too. Right. And I'm curious to know if the viewers here agree with us. So if you agree, let us know in the comments if you agree with this, but TaylorMade P790, P770 mm -hmm. irons, they have done so well in the fitting bay. And also on the testing we've ever done, P790, whenever I've ever had it in my hands, it's just killed it. Yeah, it's been super explosive. That speed foam air really drives that distance. So today we're gonna compare all four at once uh, in one TrackMan test. Uh, got, we, as we talked about, two players distance irons in the ZX5 and the P790, and then kind of that player's cavity sort of uh, in between or between distance and, and uh, player's iron there with the ZX7 and the P770. So uh, should be a really good one here today. I'm excited for it. Yep, this is going to be a fun test of system shots. So first off, we're going to be hitting with the Project X 6.5 golf shaft. That's going to be of all four heads. Okay. So that's going to be the same for every single club that we hit. We'll probably start off with the slightly more user-friendly clubs. Yeah. So we got the P790 and the Strixon ZX5 with some shots with those first. Maybe talk a little bit about those and then we'll dive deeper into the ZX7 and the P770. Okay, let's do it. Touch heavy, maybe? Let's see what the spin rate says. 6230, yeah. That was better. Still just out to the right a little bit. Stays there. There goes the wind, they got that. That was hit good. That was pure, yeah. Dude. That felt pretty good. Yeah, your uh, smash factor, 1.48. That one turned over a little bit more. <laughs> you see how far they're going? <laughs> That thing was coming back to me. You've been over 130 ball speed every time. Oh, yeah. That one's going to spin a lot. Low that face. might be an outlier. Low face. Yep. 6095. <sighs> All right. All right, so Thomas, that's the testing for the player's distance iron, ZX5 and P790. First, you got both in your hand right now. So talk to me about the, the feel and how they look and, and do you see any difference in similarities there? Yeah, and I think P790 is a little more of a player's distance iron than the ZX5 is. Okay. Uh, we know the loft's a little bit weaker ZX5. It's half a degree weaker. So 31 degrees okay. versus 30 and a half. 
However, obviously we saw the numbers. We're going to talk about those numbers here in a second. Right. You mentioned look and, look and feel. Uh, honestly, looking down at them, as crazy as this is, they actually look very, very similar to the dress. Really? Very, very similar. It's, it's almost kind of hard to really separate them with regards to length from heel to toe and um, it seems and, and like the, the, line the, the shaping is very similar from shaping, my angle, like, right. the, like the kind of how the the tur or excuse me the toe is curved a little bit. Yep. It's, it's very similar. ZX5 is probably just a touch larger overall, like with regards to surface okay. area. But looking down at them at a dress, I was actually quite surprised how similar they look. Okay. Yeah. Well, they might be similar to look at, but the distance and really all the performance was very different. So I'll bring up the numbers here. Well, I'm going to say P790, it, it felt explosive. Yeah. It definitely felt like the ball speed. The first two, three swings after hitting the ZX5, I was like, this thing's got to be going further. Yeah, yeah. So club speed was pretty similar, right? 88.3 88 and 88.4. So we're talking about a very minimal difference, right? Yep. But way more efficiency with the P790. Uh, 129.9 ball speed versus 126.5. So a smash of 1.47 to 1.43. So you're just... A lot more explosive, a lot more pop off the face there. And we kind of thought that might be the case coming in because yep. um, that's been the performance and fittings the whole time. When it comes to loft, we know it's a little longer, a little stronger. It's not much, but half yeah. a degree, you'd expect a little bit more ball speed. But I was shocked 10 yards further. Right. I and mean, exactly. The yeah. carry distance went up by 10 yards, 180.2 to 190.4 to the P790. Also spin, we talked about Strixon being a spin killer, and it is, yep. um, but the spin was pretty low too for the P790, 5680 compared to 6362 um, for the Strixon. So a lot more distance if you're the player that maybe, especially if you kind of come steep at the ball a little bit, uh, you know they have this, the sole is probably a little bit better uh, interaction with the turf with the yep. Strixon irons, but the performance there of the P790 with that spin and a little bit more distance is certainly beneficial too. Right, and I think, you know, talking about other features essentially is, is forgiveness. I feel like there was like the third or fourth shot that I hit with the ZX5. I was like, this one's a little bit thin or a little bit fat. The spin rate changed, but the yeah. distance was off by about half a yard. And that's what surprised me was just the forgiveness level. It's not going to go quite as far as the P790, right. but it's going to do the same thing. Well, I think you that's can, more important. Right, and you can see on the map here too, the, the oval for distance dispersion is a little tighter with the Strixon ZX5. So a little bit more consistency, consistency there around the distance, which I think is something that's really important in this category where you get kind of maybe those jumpers or those kind of shots where you catch them a little bit juicy sometimes and yep. they kind of jump a little extra five, 10 yards on you and, and uh, you kind of get punished almost for hitting it good. Uh, you see a little bit less of that with the ZX5. Yeah, so my biggest takeaway here is I'm a little surprised to see about 700 RPMs of difference in spin between the mm -hmm. two of them, even though there's only half a degree in the actual loft of the golf club, 30 mm -hmm. and a half to 31. And then we're seeing the 10 yards, even though there's only half a degree. I usually go by that formula of every degree of loft is about three yards. Yeah. Well, in this case, half a degree of loft was actually 10 yards. So Taylor May P790, we know it, it goes far, it's explosive, it's going to give you more distance, more yep. bang for your, I don't know, for your swing speed, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yep. exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, that ZX5 is, we saw a little bit more consistency there, but again, I think both are pretty darn solid in that category. So with that said now, we kind of move to that next category. Players cavity, players tweener there between players iron and, yep. and players distance. P770 versus ZX7. Yep, so this is when it's gonna get interesting because now the P770 is weaker in loft 33. Okay. The ZX7 is stronger loft at 32. It'll be interesting to see which one goes further. Oh my God. <laughs> 72.17 on the spin. <laughs> no more drawer? Yeah, these things are explosive, man. Like, it's almost like you're not even, like, you're gonna, you're hitting these basically farther than the ZX5s. Right which is crazy, because it's yeah. a weaker lofted club. Yeah. All right. How's the club speed? So that's seven. Club speed's gonna be right about 88 average. Okay. Good. I 
It sounded way softer. Yeah. Like way softer sound. Felt good. That 180? Yeah, that's one of your better shots of the day. 185 carry. How was that one struck? Touch chunky. So eh, it's not that, it wasn't that bad. Right, that's what I thought. I feel like the numbers would be okay. There we go. Oh, that was hit well. How was that numbers wise? Yeah, uh, pretty good. 179 carry, you got 7,100 spin on that one. Okay. Oh yeah, I was flushed. It's got some spin on it too. Well, <laughs> the wind created this. Well, I just 7100 there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Thomas, we've completed all the testing. That second portion there, the uh, kind of more players oriented clubs, P770 and then ZX7. So talk to me first. You have both in your hand. Again, we'll go over that look and feel element there. Yeah. So ZX7 does look a little bit larger than P770. I can separate the two of them a little bit more than I could separate the ZX5 and okay. the P790. Um, the 770 in a smaller package just felt explosive. Yeah. It, it definitely felt like I was still getting some ball speed off of that. Um, the ZX7 felt softer off the face. Yeah. Definitely felt like I was getting more feedback with the ZX7. 770 was just, it still felt like a rocket. Yeah. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's made of the same materials as the P790, so I imagine that the feel and, and some of the look elements too are just the same really as its older brother. But yep. um, now I want to bring up the numbers here because uh, we kind of were, we were kind of in awe almost of what the differences were of P790 to, to ZX5. And I think those differences were still there just like on a smaller scale. Right. Um, so like for example, P770, as you mentioned, it is the weaker lofted of these two, but- 33 degrees aloft. Yeah. Right. But. Uh, more ball speed, two miles an hour more ball speed. So a smash factor that was, you know, 1.45 to 1.43 uh, and 200 RPM lower uh, or uh, fewer spin. Uh, so that resulted in four more yards of carry distance and about four and a half more total yards with the P770, again, a weaker lofted club than the ZX7. Yeah. Um, as much as I always say, every degree of loft is a certain, yeah, yeah. certain yardage. This is kind of the, uh, the exception. Is yeah. really what it comes down to is P, the P770, P790. There's just something about them. They just go further. Yeah. They, they just go a little further. They spin a little bit less. Um, now, are they consistent? That's always the, kind right. of the, the, the question there. But if you want more distance out of your irons and a good looking iron, you know, tailor made P770, P790, yeah. you can't go wrong. Right. Yeah. And then I think you, know, you talked about the consistency factor. It's not like the P770, P790 are inconsistent, but I think if you look at the map, I think you prefer the Shrixon ovals in both scenarios, in both comparisons, because your ZX7 is probably your most consistent and straightest. Uh, and then the ZX5 is probably the next smallest and most consistent. There's a little bit kind of that, a right bias there. Your draw just didn't quite turn over as yep. much with the ZX5, but still a very tight oval there. And then those tailor-made ones, a little bit wider, it seems like, especially uh, with the P770 at a couple left, couple right there. Right. And, you know, Srixon, you start talking about even combo sets. Yeah. They were separated by about one yard each. Right, right. So you don't need to work so hard to make, create a combo set with ZX5, ZX7. Right. I love combo sets. So those golfers that you know want a little more forgiveness in their long irons and play a player's iron in the short irons, ZX5, ZX7 is a great option. You know, if you're trying to do it with pre 770 pre 790 good luck. It's gonna yeah. be a little, little bit harder. Obviously, you gotta modify the lofts a little bit. Um, they almost already have a combo set built into them, the 790s or the P770s anyway. Yeah. I think their speed foam stops at like eight yeah, iron. Yeah, yeah. so they, um, yep, eight iron and lower do not have that speed foam uh, and then kind of the seven iron up. So you really get a little extra juice on those longer irons and a little bit more stability in that kind of lower in the club head. But yep. um, I think, you know, this, this test is interesting because we've gotten a lot of great feedback on the Shrix on irons, um, both in our, from our fitters and then from the commenters on YouTube. And we've seen why today, I think really good feel, right? You, you like the feel, especially that ZX7. Yep. Um, and then we also saw some consistency on the map, right? But then we look at the distance numbers and the explosiveness of TaylorMade. I think that also is validated by how popular those are. 
Right. And end of the day, you know, when I've got an iron in my hand, I want to do a certain thing every single time. Yeah. And I think, you know, the dispersion was great with this Rixon ZX5 and ZX7 irons. End of the day, you know, I wanted to do, I don't want to get a chance of a flyer of one going maybe five, six yards further than the, the previous shot. And I feel like my miss hits when I hit ZX5 or ZX7 almost did the same thing. Where I feel like P770, if I flushed one, or P790, I crushed one, yeah. it went quite a bit further than the ones mm -hmm. I didn't quite catch. Right. I think that was probably the biggest takeaway from me. And I think that's why I would consider the, ZX, the Strixon clubs so underrated, is they're mm -hmm. consistent, but they still perform really, really well. Right, and they're not, you know, the you know, TaylorMades, the Callaways, the Tylus that might have, you know, the Pings, that might have uh, the, the most notoriety out there. But really good performers, and we've been, you know, very pleased with the results in fittings, so I guess... You know, for golfers interested in either one of these, you know, if you're looking for distance, right, explosiveness, TaylorMade P770 or P790 uh, is probably your best bet. If you're looking for consistency, better feel maybe, uh, Shrixon ZX5, ZX7, both great options there as well. And again, that both all four models we tested today also have that really good look to them. So uh, if you're interested in one of those four models, you can schedule a fitting at Second Swing, go to the website, secondswing.com, or you can uh, just stop into one of our store locations if you're nearby and we'll work with you to get you set up with some new irons to ultimately shoot better scores. So, Thomas, thanks for joining today. Uh, you know, braving out this wind out here. It's pretty tough out here, but get some good shots. We got some really good feedback and good results. Yep, both great irons to come and get fit for.